Kenny Brew here, host of Optimal Living starts here and we are here live at the Art of Yoga studio. Today I am going to introduce you to the proprietor of this wonderful facility that has been helping and supporting individuals with wellness and movement and just stress management right here at the Art of Yoga studio. And I'm going to take you inside of a class as well. Thank you for joining us and stay with us as we celebrate the Art of Yoga Studio. It's not about me, it's about us. <laughs> and, and, I, and I wouldn't be here right here at this space if all of you aren't here in some way supporting it. I really appreciate the love, the support, the encouragement over the years. Some of you know me as Christopher, son, brother, um, Dr. Yoga. father, Dr. Yoga, the yoga doctor, you know what I mean? Or Ukweli. But I just want to thank you all again for being here, however you know me. Um, it really means a lot. We, we've come a long way from this just being a, something that I did just for myself to help myself feel better. And now I feel like what I've done to help myself feel better has rubbed off on everyone else. We're all helping to share and make the world inside of us a better place and that way making the world all around us a better place. I like to say that life is a gift so live in the present and that each and every one of us can be a gift to this life that we live. And and that's why we want to make all classes free today so that everyone can get to experience just a little piece of the joy that has brought me joy that I share with the world. I'm thankful that I'm able to share my labor of love with all of you. So thank you all again for making this possible. And I hope that we can just continue to enjoy moving yes. forward, life, love, and prosperity in every way. Yes. Y'all yes. gotta pull it really tight. We got it. All right, one. I wanna cut it. Two. Three, cut! And we are back here with the proprietor of Art of Yoga Studio, Christopher Wilkes. What's up, Chris? Thank you again for oh having me. I'm grateful. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we have been having a blast here at the grand opening, open house. Um, we're calling it everything for Art of Yoga Studio. I want you to let our audience know because what has happened here is really something that entrepreneurs around the world would probably like to know about. This art of yoga studio has moved into a larger expanded building right after the covid pandemic many art of any <laughs> yoga studios did not make it but art of yoga did how does that make you feel i'm so thankful because <laughs> it really was a leap of faith going from where we were to where we are now and um, I couldn't have done it without the love and support of people like you and everybody that supported the studio. Like, yeah. in all honesty, like I had thoughts of giving up during the pandemic. I said, well, it's probably the first time to cash out, you know, because I don't know what the future is going to look like right now. But I said, instead of moving in fear, I'm going to move in faith. And, yes. I'm, and I'm thankful that I, uh, I moved with that in heart, you know, and the love and support of everybody when I was thinking about giving up really gave me the strength and the energy to keep going. OK. All yeah. right. Well, for our audience, you might be an entrepreneur. You might have a small business. You might have been struggling over the past couple of years, just trying to figure out whether you're going to be able to continue to bring the services and products that you have available to your community. But Chris has demonstrated to us, not only can you make it through a storm, but you can come out and expand and be even more than you were before. Chris, I would like for you to let our audience know what can they expect from this new expanded version of Art of Yoga Studio. You can definitely expect more community involvement and impact. We started a nonprofit organization called Art of Wellbeing, which is like the sister, I guess, you know, entity to Art of Yoga. 
because yoga for me is a practice of self-care yeah. how to feel better in your body how to feel better in your mind mm -hmm. how to feel better overall in your whole being yeah. so art of well-being is going to offer complimentary wellness services like yoga like meditation like massage like mental health and health coaching and, and uh, life coaching and things of that nature yeah. we'll be collaborating with partner organizations like optimal living wellness and retreats to help do that and I'm thankful for this opportunity to grow and expand in that role, to be of even greater impact to the community. Yes, yes, I love it, I love it. The energy has been amazing all day long. And as we think about what is gonna be happening next week, the week after the holiday is coming up, if you can let our audience know, do you have gift certificates? Do you have any special promotions going on? Anything like that that's happening at Art of Yoga Studio? Absolutely. We have a special that's going on right now. School started back not long ago, so it's called the Back to School Special. But most likely we'll have a holiday special going on. If you want to come out and bring a friend, um, unlimited yoga classes for one month, ninety nine ninety nine. Yeah. For yoga for you and a friend, so you can share it. Yes. Uh, I always tell people that the reason I teach today is because I felt so good I wanted other people to feel that same good feeling and whatever you give out is what you initially uh, ultimately end up receiving back yeah so I'm thankful to be able to share my labor of love with everybody yeah yeah and those special offers will definitely make it accessible to anyone who wants to feel better and I'm just going to put a little shout out to those of you who are aging gracefully you probably saw earlier in the previous part of this interview where we were in the middle of a yoga class. And you probably noticed that there were individuals from all ages and age groups and those type of things that were in the yoga class. I'm almost 60 here and I'm still doing yoga. And I am just telling you, I didn't find it until I was, I didn't get serious about it until I was after 50. So I want you to consider that as you are thinking about whether you want to jump into a yoga class or not. There is no age group that is not able to enjoy the benefits of yoga. This is something that is for all people. I don't care what job you work. I don't care what you do. Yoga is good for every body. And there's Everybody. a saying. <laughs> there's a saying that at yoga adds more years to your life and more life to your years. Yes. You know what I mean? I agree. So with I that. appreciate you embodying that and sharing their testimony on that. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Got to. <laughs> I just want more people to at least try. That's all I want you to do. Yeah. If you just try, the beginners yoga class is the one that I teach. Um, beginners yoga and mindfulness, definitely accessible. But for now. I want Chris to give you, each one of you that are watching right now, the address and the website and how to connect with Art of Yoga Studio because you're ready. I know you're ready. You're ready to go online right now and schedule your class. We are located at 4924 Armor Road, Unit A, Columbus, Georgia. You can visit us at www.artofyogacolumbusga.com. And you can also like and follow us at Art of Yoga Columbus GA on Facebook and Instagram where you'll see all of our latest and greatest updates, things that are on the way, new classes, schedule changes, as well as funny yoga memes and things to brighten up your day. <laughs> yes, yes, it is so cool. I hope you are on your computer or your phone right now making it happen. We want to thank you for joining us as we celebrate with Art of Yoga Studio. This is their grand opening in this location, but they have been around serving the Columbus, Georgia area for several years. How many years now? Over 10 years. 10 years. So this is about <laughs> growth. This is about expansion. And this is something for you to get excited about because you too can grow and expand, not just on the mat, but off the mat. Absolutely. It's Versandra Kenny Brew here, and it has been my pleasure to bring this special occasion to you.
It might be crisscross applesauce, <laughs> or you might choose a pose that's more resting here. I think everybody kind of has a bolster. For a lot of people, it feels a little better to put their tushy up a little bit and sit up a little, and that might make you feel a little more comfortable. But please find your comfortable seat. As we begin to just relax our bodies, sitting up tall, elongating our spine, and now that you're feeling a little more settled into this moment, I invite you to bring your palms together to heart center. Continuing to breathe in and out as you press your thumbs against your heart there. I'd like you to try to slow down enough so that you can actually be mindful of the beat of your own heart. Maybe you need to adjust your fingers or your palms a little bit so that you can feel the beat of your own heart. Maybe you need to release judgment. Trying to figure out what's next, what's going on. Mindfulness is all about being in the present moment. Present awareness. Without your mind wandering here and there, just being right here Right hand back up to the sky. 
Once you get that right hand extended up into the air, bring your awareness to that left hand pressing down into the mat as you begin to fold over to the left side, leaning, stretching and elongating the right side of your body. Breathing here, reaching, expanding, lengthening. Of your life. 
across applesauce for some time now. So we're going to loosen our legs up. Sometimes you might feel the desire. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes my little cheeks here get a little tight. You might feel like you need to loosen up and open up a little bit. So that's okay to do that. This is your practice. Just feel your body and see what is needed. Bringing our palms together, pressing up toward the sky, palms facing front. You're going to breathe in deeply as we prepare to exhale, fold forward. Wherever you land is good for you. Toes, ankles, shins, wherever you are is perfect. Wiggle it out a bit. How y'all feeling? Ooh. 
going to do some seated cat cows. Woo! Warming up the spine just a bit. We're breathing in, shining our heart, pressing our chest outward. And then just kind of holding it here for a moment, breathing in and out. We're just checking our posture. And now we're going to bring that belly in, belly button in toward the spine as we curve our spine over, bringing our chin to chest. Slowly transitioning from this, lifting up, shining our hearts again, rolling our shoulders around toward the back. Breathing deeply here. Shifting from this position around, rolling those shoulders, curving the spine, belly button in. Shifting again, shoulders around, shining our heart. Bringing our shoulders back down. And now at your own pace, you're going to transition from the cat into the cow at your own pace. You may want to go faster than me or even slower. It's your practice, your speed. Mindfulness is the key. Being aware of how your body is feeling with each movement, each shift. feel bad because you feel like you can't do this or that. Our bodies change from day to day. One day you can do everything. The next day you're feeling a little bit of trepidation. Just know that your body is perfect, and complete. And it changes. Just like the seasons. One last time. Believe.